Hello student, you are welcome to Hello DLC lecture series for CSC 102, Introduction to Problem Solving. This video is for study session 1, Problem Solving in Computer Science. After you must have studied this study session, you should be able to explain problem solving through the use of computer. You should be able to discuss solving, uh, problem solving with the use of computer programming as well. Now, the introduction part of this course. You solve problems every day, often not aware of the process you are going through. In a learning environment, you are usually given most of the information you need. That is a clear statement of the problem, the necessary input and the required output. However, in real life, the process is not always so simple. You often have to define the problem yourself and then decide what information you have to work with and what the result should be. Now, what is a problem? A problem is a question or situation that presents uh, uncertainty or difficulty. Now, what is problem solving? Uh, problem solving generally refers to as a systematic approach to defining the problem and creating a vast uh, number of possible solutions without judging the, uh, these solutions. Solving problems is, however, the essentials of computer science. Regardless of the areas of study, computer science is all about solving problems with computers. In this study session, you will be introduced to applying computer in problem solving. Now, let's look at the steps that are involved in solving a computational problem. Here there are six steps from understand the problem, to formulate the model, to develop an algorithm, write the program, test the program, then evaluate the solution. Let's take them one by one. Understand the problem. It sounds strange, but the first step to solving any problem is to make sure that you understand the problem that you are trying to solve. You need to know what uh, input data or information is available, what does it represent, what format uh, is it in, is anything missing? Do I have any, uh, everything that I need? What output information am I trying to produce? What do I want to? What do I, what do I want the result to look like? A text, a picture, or even a graph? What am I going to have to compute? These are the problems you you uh, you need to know when you want to solve a computational problem. You need to understand the problem. Now let's go to the second one formulate a model. Now you need to understand the processing part of the problem. Many problems break down into smaller problems that require some kind of simple mathematical computation in order to process the data. For example, if you are going uh, to compute the average of a set of grades, so you need to know the model or the formula for computing the average of a bunch of numbers. If there is no such um, formula, you need to develop one. Now, let's look at the third uh, step, develop an algorithm. Now it's time to compute with a precise plan of what we want the computer to do, that is an algorithm. An algorithm uh, is a precise sequence of instructions for solving a problem. Now the, the next step is write the program. Now there is a need to transform the algorithm that you wrote in step 3 from the, into, into a set of instructions that can be understood by the computer. Writing a program is often called writing code or implementing an algorithm. So the, uh, the code or source code is actually the program itself. Now the next step is you test the program. Once you have, you have a program written that compiles in step four, you need to make sure that it solves the problem that it was intended to solve and that, and that the solutions are, are correct. Running a program is the process of telling the computer to evaluate the compiled instruction. When you run your program, if all this work, you should see the correct output. It is possible, however, that your program works correctly for some set of data inputs, but not for all. If the output of your program is incorrect, it is possible that you did not uh, convert your algorithm properly into a proper program. 
Now, the final step, which is not the least, is you evaluate the solution. Once your program produces a result that seems correct, you need to reconsider the original problem. Make sure that the answer is formatted into a proper solution to the problem. It is often the case that you realize that your program solution does not solve the problem the way you wanted it to. You may realize that more steps are involved. Now, what is problem solving with computer programming? Here we will also look at the relationship between computer and mathematics. A computer is not intelligent. It cannot analyze a problem and come up with a solution. A human, that is a programmer, must analyze the problem, develop the instructions for solving the problem, and then have the computer carry out the instructions. Computer science is similar to mathematics in that both are used as a means of defining and solving some problem. In fact, computer-based applications often use mathematical models as a basis for the manner in which they solve the problem at hand. In mathematics, a solution is often expressed in terms of formulas and equations. In computer science, the solution is expressed in terms of a program. Did you get that? In mathematics, a solution is often expressed in terms of formula and equations. In computer science, the solution is expressed in terms of a program. A program is a sequence of instructions that can be executed by a computer to solve problems or perform a, uh, a specific task. Now, let us look at programming process phases. For you to use uh, computer programming in solving problems, you need to understand the programming process phases. They are divided into two, problem solving and implementation. Under solve, uh, problem solving, we have analysis and specification, general solution, that is the algorithm, and then you verify. Under the implementation, you have concrete solution, that is a program, test, and the maintenance phase. Analysis and specification, under this, you understand that, that means you define the problem and what the solution must do. Under the general solution, which is the algorithm, you specify the required data types and the logical so uh, sequences of steps that solve the problem. Under verify, you follow the uh, steps exactly to see if the solution really uh, does solve the problem. Then under the implementation phase now, where you have the concrete solution uh, or a program, this, um, you that means you translate the algorithm, that means the general solution, which is the second step in problem solving, into a programming language. Test, then you have the computer following the instructions, then manually check the results. If you find errors, analyze the program and the algorithm to determine the source of the errors, and then make corrections. Under the maintenance phase, that means you modify the program to meet changing requirements or you, to correct any errors that show up while using it. Thank you for listening. This is the end of the class. See you in the next class.